everyone, it's me again, Suzanne, here on the Stone Magpie channel. I've received another parcel today. I was, As I was saying on my last video, I'm on a Facebook page called um, Diamond Painting Friends. And on a Sunday, we upload a wish list. And if you're chosen to receive a gift, it comes in the post. And this one is, I've got a little note, from Amanda Cumberbatch. So thank you, Amanda, for this lovely surprise. Hi Suzanne, hope you have fun doing this one. It's beautiful from Amanda. Isn't that lovely? And so this wish list is where you upload your own wish list and people can choose from that and have it sent direct to you through Amazon. Um, and it's not all about giving and receiving from each other. It's just you choose somebody and offer a surprise. So it's a really nice thing um, to do. And I'm very grateful to Amanda for buying me this one i thought i'd do it as an unboxing so that um it can be a surprise for everybody watching um we'll see what's inside i've obviously taken it out of the um outer package so that my address details don't show and um we'll have a look just don't bear with me that's it there we go Ooh, lots of beautiful colours in this one. You know, if you know me, you know I love colour. Look at those. Oh, right, we'll have a closer look at that in a bit. We've also got, oh wow, nice in here. Got quite a big boat for this one. Super. Oh, look, we've got two waxes. That'll last me years and years. <laughs> Um, we've got one of the pens that I love with the um, grip on with a smaller end and that's your single end. I think that'll probably do four perhaps and then a bigger end attachment as well. I tend to not use these ones because I find it quite cumbersome but these ones are really useful. Um, I'm going to try and find a use for this at some point. And we've got a pair of tweezers, really sharp tweezers. Um, I don't tend to place diamonds with them, but if I make mistakes, um, I use them to get in there and scrape it off. That's the great thing with diamond painting, as we know, there's never a mistake. You can always change things up and make sure that um, any problems are rectified on the stick, etc. So that's what I like about diamond painting, as well as the beautiful finish of them. With no further ado, let's get the picture out and see what Amanda chose from my list. It's so quiet. Okay. Oh, it's a 30 by 30 one. Oh, yes. I love this picture. It's a really modern one with um, like towers and like tower houses and boats in the sea. Let's, um, let's have a closer look. goodness I think I need to wipe my table with an anti-static wipe that's the problem with the melamine um, I need to keep the the wipes in stock oh, no. I'm gonna do a quick wipe now if you know my hair you'll know that it's bushy anyway I don't need any static in it down there and let's see to, trying to see the best way to undo this sticky tape if I can lift it up a little bit get the scissors underneath don't want to cut the canvas aha done it perfect okay so Let's have a look. We've got 30 colours in this. Let's have a look at the codes. 
Yeah, they actually look quite clear. That's good. I'm going to have to um, oh, put a foam roll in the middle. So that means that it shouldn't have any creases, which is lovely. Oh, it's cute. Obviously, I'm going to have to um, flatten it out a little bit. Shall we have a little look at the, the chart? Peel this back a bit. Looks a really clear chart. Oh look, oh, it's going to be so cute, so cute. Look here, you see a little boat immediately there, and the pier, the houses. I think that one might be like a lighthouse there. <laughs> Being 30 by 30, I should have actually got my tape measure, shouldn't I, to see um, what the actual size is. I'm just going to open this bit as well, because what I tend to find, top tip time, is if you peel these back... I don't want that bit of silver tape on it now. Um, if you peel these back and then re-flatten them it can flatten your canvas out quite a bit so oops dear there we go pull that back together so all the cute little boats what do you think Amanda do you think it's cute I'm not sure if you've done this one or not because you said it was a beautiful picture whether you just liked it your name in the Facebook page so that you can see I've done a video mentioning your name and if you want to comment below you can. Look! Oh, this is going to be so fun to see. Ah. Right, shall we have a look at the colours now? And look, by doing that, this canvas has already flattened quite a bit. So... Let's have a look at the colours. 30 colours, as I said. Quite a lot of colours for a 30 by 30. Oh, that just amazing. Right, let's have a oh look. And they're all self-seal bags. I'm really impressed with this kit. Um, so we've got a um, sort of a denim blue colour. There's quite a few blues, obviously, with all of the sea. But, um, there are actually quite a lot. It's a beautiful turquoise colour. Um, and squares. You know that I do like squares. I like the finish of the squares. The kit that I reviewed yesterday with the heart key rings, they had circle... Uh, jewel type things on they were beautiful but when I do a kit I do like squares um, when I do a picture so this is like a pale turquoise very nice you know these look really good quality um, what would you say a bright turquoise nice I'm presuming that these numbers are the DMC number. We might have to check that. Um, so number 15, let's see, number 15, 827. Right, so I think that's the code number. That's the DMC. Oh, yes, it does say there, actually. Silly me. And then that's how many I should have. So I'm not sure what that number is. Hmm. I don't know, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I've got the DMC number. So, so these are all different colour turquoises here. Look at those. Beautiful. Then we've got, um, there's even more blue. 
all of these different shades. Seven, so I'm going to be close. Seven, nine, two. Seven, nine, eight. Nine, nine, five. Hmm. Then we've got dark navy blue. And then we'll go on to greens. We've got a number of different greens here. Oh, there's another blue like a grey blue. Pretty. So bright green. Would you say ne it's nearly a lime, not quite. Oh pretty. Don't know if it's me, but these stones seem a bit smaller than Probably not, maybe it's just deceiving. Um, so, as I say, different greens, like a minty green. What should we do next? Yellows, we've got a buttercup sort of yellow. Would you say that's buttercup or buttery? And then a darker goldy yellow. Reds. Mm. Juicy. Juicy reds. Ooh, that's like nearly a coral. But you know that I can't see any strays either. And they all look very sparkly. I'm actually going to open this packet and have a closer look. They are super. The edges are really straight cut. So I've had some that have like little nobbles on the end. Um, and it wasn't a cheap kit either. I was very disappointed in this one. But this, I mean, it, you can tell the quality. It's really, really, really good. Um, then I've got some purples in here. I'm going to put this into a purple category. It's kind of like bluey purple. Again, very vivid, beautiful. Two sort of pinky colours and a grey. Now that the sun's come out a little bit, I'll be able to see the finish on these. Look, amazing. I'm very, very impressed by this kit, I have to say. Um, it was bought on Amazon. I can't remember how much it will have been now. Um, as I say, it was in my wish list. And uh, I don't know what the cost was. I can't remember. I don't think I put anything majorly expensive in there because that's not fair. Well, it's a wish list that other people are looking at. Um, so I don't think it was more than £10. But if I look it up, I might, sorry, I think you hear my dog barking. <laughs> Monty wants to get in on the act. Um, so, yeah, I'll flash up the price if I find it on my wish list. So, Amanda, thank you so much again. I can't wait to start this one. I think it's going to be really fun to do and um, really enjoyable with all those colours. So, thank you. Bye, everybody.